Hey guys, Rich Conjure bringing you some more 2v2 StarCraft 2 action on high orbit. Spawning is a purple Terran in the top right hand corner. We do have House Teal. Top left hand corner as the Teal Protoss will be our master. And the bottom right hand corner as the Red Terran will be Killa, surrounded by a couple of axes. And in the bottom left hand corner will be Hades as the Blue Toss. So we will have a TP versus TP on high orbit. We do have a probe. I don't know what he was doing, but our master had him running around in circles. He will be throwing down his pylon. High orbit, if you can secure these four watchtowers between you and your opponent, you each split them and take two, you will basically have vision over the entire map, which is exactly what you want. You will know exactly what your opponents are doing or when they are moving out. We do have Hal Seal going to be sending out an SCV possibly to scout. He's making his way down there. Our master back at the top. He is going to be throwing down his gateway. Hal Seal his barracks. We also have a pro going out for our master. I don't know if we're going to have a double scout or some kind of craziness going on here. Hal Seal is going to be checking on both of these guys. Killer throwing down his barracks. Halsey will be in a little bit annoying to kill his SCV. But we do have an assimilator and a gateway down for Hades. So pretty standard opening for all. This probe is being super sneaky making his way up there. Probably just to scout himself. As Hades and Killer have not had any vision just yet. But we will be seeing some standard openings going on. Our master also taking his gas. Halcyon, pretty standard. So we do have Halcyon running his SCV out of there as Killer was going to chase him down, but decided better of it. We do have a gas up for Killer who is now getting his orbital command. Cybernetics down for Hades and our master. Hades just a hair faster than our master, not by much. But our master does in fact have that early zealot on the way. This SCV hates life. Although I don't know how much he can hate it now that he's dead. But we do have some standard openings going across the board. Second barracks down for House Seal. So it looks like we will see two racks out of him as well as Killa. House Seal has a little bit better timing on that with his gas. I don't know if his gas is a little bit more delayed. It is a little bit more delayed. Killa also has his second gas going. If we do take a look at the units, we have 16 SCVs for Killa with one mule. House Seal with 17 SCVs, but he has just dropped a mule, I'm sure. That is exactly what he did. We do have a robotics down for our master, so he is going to do, I would imagine, a three-gate robo. We'll possibly see the third gate in a minute, and we do see the third gate go down, so we will see a three-gate robo out of him. He is researching warp gate. For Hades, two more gateways, one more, and we will see the four-gate go down. However, he does have two gas. I'm not sure if he's trying to three-gate expand or what exactly is going on here. He does have a pylon up front with one zealot. Our master does have an observer on the way. He will be out soon, probably start poking his head around his opponent's base to see exactly what's going on. Stalker on the way for our master. His warp gate research is almost finished. We do have Killa outside. He is not going to have vision just yet over the top, but he will know exactly when a unit goes ahead and moves out. These three gates are done. We have an immortal on the way for our master. These warp gates, or these gateways, just now morphing into warp gates. So we do have a couple more stalkers warping their way in, along with this observer making his way down to the bottom. We do have Hades with warp gate almost finished. He does have three stalkers on the way and one on the field already. So it looks like our master does have his warp gate just a little bit earlier. He's going to have an immortal out soon. That is going to put them in excellent shape. As Killa does not seem to have too much going on. He does have a siege tank on its way with siege tech being researched. Hades throwing down a pylon so he could probably get some warps on the low ground if need be. 
We do have a late robotics coming up for Hades. This observer is making his way across and he's going to see exactly what's going on. So they're going to have a pretty good idea of what they are up against. That is for our master and Halseal. This immortal. He is an immortal amongst stalkers. We all know exactly what that means. He would with ease rip through all three of them. And that's exactly what Hades has going on. Our master is going to see this. He is going to know exactly what is up. Going to know that they are in fact going for the goal. We do have a second immortal out for our master. Halseal does have his three racks up with a factory. And he has quite a group of units here with Stimpak already researched as well as concussive shells. So he will be able to slow and stim. We have a missile turret going down for Halseal for any kind of cloaked units that may be going on. Hades is going to try and go for the gold expansion. We do have a siege tank sieged up for a little bit of defense. They do have control of this tower and our master's observer. I don't even think he had an opportunity to hate life as he was just killed quickly. Our master and Halseal do look like they're going to be moving out. Hades is in fact going to see Halseal and he does see our master and does know that there are in fact two immortals on the field. Halseal is coming around the outside, does a quick scan to see exactly what's going on. A couple more siege tanks getting ready to be sieged up. We have a warp in of Zelts to deal with this army. We do have a third immortal for our master making his way down, poking his head down here, making sure there is no hidden expansion. And it does look like we are going to see an engagement here shortly. Hades, Hades does see the fact that Halseal is out here. And they can just see the side of our master's army, who now ducks out of view very quickly. We do have a siege tank out for Halseal, who just now sieges up. And he is going to start laying damage down on some of these units, and they try to march in. They are focusing down the tank that is just laying all this damage. Stimpak comes up, and here comes our master from the back. Going to wipe out all these siege tanks. That is not a position they want to be in. This one Colossus may do quite a bit of damage, but he is getting focused down, and he falls very quickly. Our master does have an observer back, so it does look like that any kind of cloaked units are not going to do well. Our master has, in fact, lost all of his units, but House Seal still with a quite a sizable force here. And it does look like this gold is going to go down. The siege tank just hammering away. These Marines hating their life as they are just getting raped mercilessly, but this tank playing down some damage on these Marauders. We do have another warp in of Zealots. We have one immortal down here being a boss, taking out all of these marines. And he is going to start shooting these zealots. However, he's going to quickly find that he is very ineffective against zealots. And he is going to take out that pylon. This gold does not look like it is going to go up. This immortal is going to start laying down some damage on these pros. But we do have another Colossus on the field. Our master has two more stalkers out. But this immortal looks like he is going to fall, but there are quite a few stalkers here throwing down massive amounts of damage on his Colossus. And it does look like he may not fall. He is being micro correctly. And he is going to start laying down damage on all of these Terran units. The, Adam, the House Hill does not want that at all. These tanks just throwing so much damage on these Marauders. One health. This Marauder is just hating. The fact that he is dead. And a mule being dropped by House Seal to start repairing up these tanks. Throwing so much damage. These tanks are just hammering away. Our master is going to walk his units around the outside, and the gold does fall. Hades not in a good position. He did invest a little bit of money on that expansion. However, he did not transfer the probe, so it is not too bad. He is going to chrono out another Colossus. I feel as though he had one on the field. He must have lost it. Hades now with another Colossus on the field. Our master with five stalkers and two immortals. Halseal with three tanks. An SCV, lots of marines and a couple marauders. He is in fact bringing the house. And it does look like they are going to make a shop outside of this base. Halseal is going to start raining down a little bit of terror on this supply depot as this observer is providing vision. We do have our master now with three immortals. We have 
what we have. Six, seven stalkers and a zealot for good measure. Halcyon going to lay his tank out here. Going to start laying damage on these supply depots. I don't... He is not going to supply cap Killa as he has so much. But he does not want these units to aggro out here, which is exactly what they're doing. He's going to lose all of them. They try to march out, but these siege tanks just laying so much damage. This Colossus in the back, he is not getting focused, but there is just so many. Killer has left the game. This Colossus is going to be micro like a boss. Hades has left the game, and there is the GG. I don't know what is going on with this barracks right now, but it is all kinds of warped up. So Killer and Hades unable to hold on, as Halcyon, our master, did in fact push them just too hard for them to handle. I hope you guys enjoyed this cast. And I'll talk to you guys later.